Perth in Western Australia and I am here in the Malaysian jungle for SheMud, the world's only international all-women's extreme 4x4 challenge. And this is my first time to extreme off-road competition, actually my first time to extreme off-roading period. And I have found it very challenging to say the least. Okay, good. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. I knew that Shimad would be difficult. All the other girls have a little bit more experience in the mud and in these kinds of extreme conditions and with the cars. So I knew I was coming in as a rookie and learning everything as I went. It was very difficult, very scary. I think one of the big things for me was learning that you can go fast and you can get through these challenges and the worst that'll happen is you might like tip a little bit or you know, bump into something, but it's pretty difficult to get into a lot of trouble. So my driver is from Malaysia. That did add an extra challenge, but it also made it a lot more interesting, uh, making friends from different countries and experiencing the cultural side of things. We did have a little bit of communication challenges with the language barriers, and my driver is also new to this sort of driving and challenges, so that was interesting as well. I think she was a little bit scared sometimes to you know, really um, pick up speed and use the accelerator, but she progressed so much throughout the competition. She got so much better, and we did really well in the last SS. We came in second by only three seconds, I think. She nailed it. So we had all up four days of competitions that consisted of short SS's, special stages. They varied from everything from speed-based ones where it was an uh, easier course but you had to go fast to really difficult winching challenges where you had to go down into like really deep muddy holes and then get yourself out to courses that were a mix that were really steep obstacles, rock climbing, winching, mud, everything. Everything you can imagine. So this is our car here. It, uh, I guess it got us through most of the time. As you can see, compared to the other cars, uh, we had quite a different vehicle. Not as powerful and not lifted and with a really um, kind of weak winch. So that definitely, I think that combined with us being rookies, made us the underdogs for sure. It was sometimes an advantage having this car because it was smaller and a little bit more maneuverable. But all in all, we found it very difficult to get through the deep water and deep muddy stages and anything that required that extra bit of like power, we just didn't have. The problem that we had with the car was that there's something wrong with it. And basically, if we stalled, it's a manual, if we stole during any of the SS's, we literally could not get the car started again. So we definitely DF'd on a few because the car would stall and then we just couldn't get it going. So for the last day of competition, we had a very tough time because we were actually convoying to the start of the challenges, not even racing. Thank God I got out of the car because on the drive, on the last like minute of drive to the start of the stages, a piece of bamboo came completely through the windscreen, smashing it on my side and came inside the car about where my head would have been. So that put us out for three SS's. We were two DFs and one DS, which really, really hurt our rankings on the last day. Camping here in the Malaysian jungle for Shimud has been, I think, half the experience. We're out here in the middle of nowhere and with minimal camp facilities, we're basically just uh, all sleeping on little like uh, beds and showering in the river, washing our clothes in the river. So I think that is part of the adventure experience is getting out here with the bugs and the leeches. I came into Shimad with virtually no extreme off-roading experience. 
I used to have a Jeep that I would take surfing off-road. That's it. So literally, if I can come here and learn this and do this, anybody can. Girls, if you want to try off-roading, if you're new to off-roading, if you love off-roading, come to Shima. Oh!